Hello everyone, welcome to Math Cognizant. This is the second part of the number system series. In previous part, we have studied about the natural numbers, whole numbers, integers and fractions. Today, let's discuss about rational numbers, irrational numbers, real numbers and imaginary numbers. The first concept we are going to discuss is rational numbers. The easiest way to define the rational number is it can be represented as a ratio of two integers. Therefore, the numbers which can be expressed in the form of P over Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to zero. That means the denominator cannot have zero. Such numbers are called as rational numbers. You need to remember the most important point that is all the fractions are rational numbers but not all rational numbers are fractions. It can be integers, it can be decimals. Um, when you are considering the decimals, it should be always terminating decimal or it should be a recurring decimal. So we will see the examples of each type of rational number. The first one here is the integer. As you know, integers are negative, zero and positive numbers. So let's take an example that is negative 8. This negative 8 has to be expressed in a form of P over Q. That's negative 8 over 1. We can write it as 8 over negative 1 or we can write it as 16 over 2 which gives you the answer as negative 8 or we can write it as negative 32 over 4 so when you uh, simplify it you will give it it will give you the answer of negative 8 so whatever the numbers that can be written in a form of a ratio we call such numbers as a rational numbers but make sure to remember that you cannot write the rational number with the denominator of zero. These are the examples of integer being a rational number. And next type is the is the square root of a number. Square root, as you know, the square root of number when it is being multiplied with the same number. So uh, let's take the example of root of four root of 9 root of 16 what's the root of 4 that's 2 again it's an integer root of 9 is 3 root of uh, 16 is 4 all these numbers are the integers uh, so all of them are included in the rational numbers the third type where we are considering is the decimals when we are considering decimal as a rational number you need to be careful about either it is terminating or it is recurring. Terminating means where the number stops. For example, 0 0.25, it can be written as 25 over 100. When you change a decimal into fraction, you need to count how many digits are present after the decimal. So when you simplify it, it becomes 1 over 24 as the common factor is 25. So 0 0.25 is the rational number. This is for the terminating decimal. Next, we are considering the recurring decimal. Recurring decimal here, the 3 is being uh, repeated many times. It goes on. So we can use the bar notation that is 1.3 bar. And this can be expressed as 1 plus 3 over 9 since uh, 3 is repeating. 3, 1 point, 1, 3 over 9 can be written as 12 over 9 and then simplified as 4 over 3. Next topic here is about irrational numbers. Those numbers which cannot be written in a form of P over Q, that's in a form of a fraction, we call it as irrational numbers. Irrational numbers should be either non-terminating decimals or it should be non-recurring decimals or non-repeating decimals. For example, square root of 2. Square root of 2, the value is 1.41421356223 and it goes on. It won't stop. 
such type of numbers where it is non-terminating we call it as irrational numbers even the example of uh, root of 3 square root of 3 value is 1.73205080 and value of radical of 5 is 2.2360 six seven nine seven so uh, these are the few examples we have also uh, root of eight square root of eight you can write it as four times two and square root of four is two so two square root of two the value of it is two point eight two eight four Two seven one two and it goes on. So where there is non-terminating decimals, we call it as irrational number. Even pi, where we usually take the approximate value of it, that that is equals to twenty two over seven or three point one four. But the actual value of pi is um, it's never ending, non-terminating. Okay, and the Euler's number e that is equals to two point seven one. 828486 and goes on even phi is also an irrational number whose value is 1.61803396 and goes on so all these are the examples of irrational numbers you can see irrational numbers are not terminating it's not stopping anywhere and it's not recurring repeating also you can see there are few more examples of rational and irrational numbers. These are the examples for the next topic of discussion that's real numbers. Real numbers are the numbers that can be represented in the form in the decimal form. These numbers include whole numbers, integers, fractions, etc. All the integers belongs to real numbers, but all the real numbers do not belong to integer. We will discuss that in detail now. So, what are real numbers? These are the rational numbers along with the irrational numbers. So, we have rational as well as the irrational numbers included in real numbers what all we have studied till now in part one and part two all these are included in the real numbers as you know rational numbers can be expressed as fractions that's in the form of p over q that's the numerator or the denominator and the next uh, type of rational numbers are the integers integers can be written as negative zero and positive numbers as you have studied in part one when zero is included for positive numbers that's the natural numbers we call it as a whole number so zero and all the positive numbers are considered as the whole numbers so this is about the real numbers and in irrational numbers it is non-terminating and it is non-recurring or non-repeating decimals as we have studied before that is um, that is the radical of few numbers like root 2 root 3 square root of 5 all these are included as the irrational numbers and it is being denoted by capital P whereas rational number is denoted by capital Q the next topic we have is the imaginary numbers imaginary numbers are those all those numbers that are not real numbers these numbers one squared will result in negative number so these numbers are the complex numbers that can be written as a real number multiplied by the imaginary unit i which is defined by its property so the value of so the value of i square is equals to negative one imaginary numbers are originally coined in the 17th century as a derogatory term 
and regarded as fictitious or useless. The concept gained wide acceptance following the work in early 19th century. Let's take an example that is square root of negative 2. As you know, square root of negative numbers are not defined. So we need to rearrange this number as square root of 2 times negative 1. Since root of 2 is going to be a irrational number or a real number, so a negative 1 will be considered as i. Since value of root of negative 1 is equals to i, we can rewrite this number as root of negative 2 i. So this is a imaginary number. So whenever you are having square root of a negative number, you can easily change that negative number as, as a multiple of real number and a negative number and then you can change that negative number as an imaginary unit that's i and you can solve the questions very easily to learn more about the number system please watch part three of this series hope you understood this concept please like subscribe and press the bell button to get notified on our latest videos